In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to download your WordPress blog from your live hosting account to your local computer uh, and install it using the ZAMP application. First thing you may want to do is to go ahead and download ZAMP and configure it. And there's a tutorial on my site, educhalk.org, that shows you how to download ZAMP and set it up on your computer and install WordPress. So you may want to go ahead and do that and get a new empty copy of WordPress running on ZAMP. And then once you do that, uh, you can log into your hosting account and download any live site that you have and install it and it'll just make it easier. I already have ZAMP and an empty WordPress install on my computer. So we can see that here and it's running on my USB stick and it's in ZAMP Lite and in htdocs, ZAMP and in the blog directory is a empty copy of WordPress running. So all I need to do to access my local copy is to just start Apache and MySQL and ZAMP and I do that by going to the control panel starting Apache, starting MySQL Server and then going to the browser and typing in localhost and then blog since it's in the subdirectory. So there's my test site all set up running on localhost on my computer. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to download this educhalk.org site here to my uh, local ZAMP copy. So to do that, I'm going to log into my cPanel and go to phpMyAdmin. And on your hosting account, just however you get to phpMyAdmin, do that. Uh, select your database, and mine is in this uh, blog database here. Go to Export, select all tables, SQL file, leave everything on the right, set to default, save as a file, and click Go. So I click Save and Download it. Once your database is downloaded, well, then the second thing that you need to do is go to your file manager if you're using a control panel or cPanel uh, and download your WP content directory. If you don't have cPanel or a control panel, you can do the same thing using your FTP client. Uh, but what you want to do is go to your blog, go to WP Content, and download that WP Content directory to install on localhost. And the way I'm going to do it is just select my entire WP Content directory here in cPanel and compress it. And that'll create a zip archive of it. And I'm just going to say compress that content directory. Once it's archived, it'll show me the list of archived files. I'll close the window and then go down and pick that WP Content zip file. Notice mine's 120 megabyte. It's pretty large because I have lots of themes and upload files and things like that in there. But I'm just going to download that zip file to my local computer and I'll just put it on my desktop. Now again, if you're not using some kind of a control panel to uh, upload and download your files, you can just as easily do this through your FTP client. Just log into your server using FTP and FTP that WP content directory down to your computer. Once the download's complete, then I always delete the zip file from my server. So next, let's take that WP content that we downloaded and extract it. I'm just right clicking, extract all, and, and I'll just extract it on the desktop. Once it's extracted, then I'll uh, take my WP content directory and open ZAMP and just browse to my blog in ZAMP. It's an htdocs, ZAMP, blog. And then I'll take this WP content directory and delete it. And then I'm going to take this directory and click on it because you just want to make sure that it's not nested, which this one is. Click on that and there's my content directory. So I'll move this WP content directory into my blog to replace the existing one. Okay, now that we have our WP content loaded onto our localhost site, now the only other thing we have left to do is to get our database onto our local site. So to do that, I'm going to take the SQL dump that we took from our online site and open it and edit it in a text editor. And I use Edit Plus. And what we're going to do here is look for all instances of our online URL and replace it with our localhost URL. So for example, my online URL is educhalk.org slash blog is where it exists. And my localhost is localhost slash zamp slash blog. 
I'm just going to copy that. We're going to our database dump and we'll go to search and replace and again you can use any text editor to do this with. We're going to find edgychalk.org blog and replace all instances of that with localhost slash zamp slash blog. So I'll click replace all and notice down here there were 22,722 replacements made. So you can see it's important to do that. So then I'll save and then we can close our SQL. That's all we needed to do there. Uh, so now what we need to do is log into phpMyAdmin on our ZAMP site. And I'm just going back to ZAMP and it gives me a link to phpMyAdmin. And here I'll select my database for my blog and it's in a database called WordPress. And in this database then I'm going to check all tables and drop them and say yes. So now all I have is just my database. Now one thing I want to do with this database uh, before I import is I'm going to go to operations and I'm going to change the collation of my database to match the collation of my dumped file. My online database collation is UTF-8 Unicode so I want to make sure that the database I'm importing into is UTF-8 Unicode. So just look at your database when you dump it to see what it is and make sure that the one on localhost matches what you have online. Uh, so now I could at this point, if my database was small enough, I could just come here, click import and browse and find my database and import it. Uh, but my database is over 50 megabytes so I'm not going to be able to import here with uh, PHP my admin without going into the uh, actual server files and doing a lot of changes and I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is just go back to localhost and I've uploaded a program here called Big Dump and I'm going to import my database with Big Dump just by going into my Big Dump directory and then Big Dump PHP. And I'm going to take the SQL file that I downloaded and go ahead and put it in the Big Dump directory and I just put Big Dump in uh, the same directory that I have my blog in and there is a directory called Big Dump. So I'm just going to take my SQL file now and move it into my Big Dump directory. And then when I go back here and refresh then I see that it's found that file. And then I'm simply going to start import here. And Big Dump now will stagger the import of that database so that it will allow it to import without the restrictions that you run up against with PHP My Admin. Now if you don't know how to do this, how to use this uh, uh, big dump staggered importer, just look on my site here, edgychalk.org blog, uh, look over to the right in the tags and look for a tag called big dump and click on that tag and I have a video tutorial on this site that shows you how to use this big dump staggered importer. Uh, again, you'll only need to use this if your database is too large to import directly using PHP My Admin. Okay, now that the import is done, I should be able to log into my site on localhost and access my blog. Now here's my site running on localhost just as it was or is online. Everything should be there and everything should work. Uh, I should be able to go down and log into my site now using the same username and password that I logged in with or that I do log in with online. And then the only other thing that I need to do is to go to my settings miscellaneous tab and change my upload directory. Uh, you may have to go in and reset your permalinks but uh, everything should work fine now uh, as a local copy of your site running uh, on your local computer. Now of course I'm going to have to have an internet connection in order for anything to work such as these embedded YouTube movies and stuff like that but other than that uh, everything should work just fine and since I do have an internet connection even my YouTube videos and any links I have connected to the internet will work. So this site will work just the same as my online site. The only difference is this site's running on my local computer.